so you guys i want to bring out this video on kevin porter jr just because we have a lot of things that we have to talk about on what he currently got going on before i get into this video make sure y'all subscribe to my channel leave a like on this video as well and also press the notification bell for future updates now let's get to it so here's the thing if y'all are not informed just recently kevin decided to sign to a team in greece that's called payout bc which is a basketball club that competes in the greek basketball league including the greek cup as well so as you can see kevin is finally now starting to get himself back active on the court due to him getting traded by the houston rockets last season and also getting waived by the okc thunder shortly after so it's been about six months ever since he played real professional basketball because he was dealing with a serious court case throughout that time period which did finally get resolved in his favor so if y'all didn't know he ended up reaching a plea deal that would keep him out of jail if he completes a court order treatment program and stay out of trouble so kevin is in a good position right now after everything that happened last year because he finally gets another chance in greece to redeem himself and most likely make a comeback to the nba and i know some people are probably wondering why did he even choose to go to greece anyways well to answer that question kevin has a european agent that informed him about this team and he also ended up helping him get a contract for the remainder of the season so kevin is now officially part of their roster he already has been practicing with the team and also had a signing day conference as well one thing that did surprise me during his signing day is that he decided to wear number 77 bro literally said i'm finna go luka Doncic on y'all so don't be surprised if he start averaging 30 or 40 plus points throughout these next few games because he is like that for real he was averaging about 15 last year in the nba now another thing that i want to speak on is the situation he had with kaiser of course so we all know on what happened last year with the case between them right now as you can see they been got everything resolved during the beginning of this year which is good and on top of that i don't think they talk anymore they might or might not nobody knows but one thing that i do want to speak on is how people has been treating kevin porter jr ever since that situation now i'm not even going to lie I still feel some type of way about it because everyone was straight up attacking just Kevin without even knowing the full story. And on top of that, people were making false articles making up scenarios that never even happened just to make Kevin look even worse. And it was just so messed up to me just to witness what he went through because Kaiser and her lawyer even put out a statement telling everyone that there's a lot of misleading information going on. And even after they said that, people still decided to just bring straight hatred towards Kevin and stain his name. And he also lost a bunch of followers as well so many people switched up then he gets waived from the league like i can't even imagine what bro was going through definitely throughout these past six months for real and it's just so crazy when i think about it because he's receiving so much love overseas in greece but he gets so much hate in the states and if y'all didn't know kaiser even received another contract with the chicago sky not too long ago which i do believe is a training camp deal so she is still doing her own thing and it's honestly good that she's getting another opportunity to redeem herself to be in the WNBA. But here's the thing, I'm gonna be straight up with y'all. It really should be the other way around. Kaiser should be the one in Greece right now while Kevin should be already signing to another team. Like let's get serious. No offense, but she was only averaging one point after being the fourth overall pick. And she also got waived. Like imagine being a lottery pick and getting waived the very next season. What we call that is a buzz. But at the end of the day, I'm glad she got another opportunity. All I'ma say after all that stuff her and Kevin been through with all of her fans in the entire world attacking just him, she better at least get a one year deal or something after training camp is over. And I also wanna see her drop at least 15 points a game for real. So I'ma be watching both of them this summer, even though they both are probably not even together anymore, which is fine. They both are young with bright futures. So I definitely want y'all to leave your comments and opinions below on how you feel about this. And before I end this video, I see Kevin ended up covering his entire forearm. So that's really interesting to me. I think I know on why he decided to do that. I thank you guys for watching. Please make sure you like, subscribe. Make sure you press the notification bell. T-Game, we out.